How's it going everyone? Austin Honecker here. I just wanted to come on here for a while and give them a review for All Elite Wrestling's pay-per-view event, Full Gear 3. I gotta say, it was awesome from start to finish. There was a pre-show and a main show. There was the pre-show and the main show. Well, for the pre-show, there was only one match, and the match for the pre-show, it was Thunder Rosa and Hikaru Shida versus Nyla Rose and Jamie Hayter. That was a great match, but the ending to it, Thunder Rosa and Hikaru Shida went over cause Hikaru Shida pinned Nyla Rose with a roll up. Well, besides the matches, Tony Schiavone interviewed Dante Martin and Tony, Sh Tony Schiavone brought up to Dante Martin about Team Taz, which are Taz, Ricky Starks, Powerhouse Hobbs, and Hook, offering him to join Team Taz and talked about how uh, Dante Martin had less than 24 hours to give an answer of Team Taz and everything, and, and uh, Tony, Tony Schiavone, Tony Schiavone was asking Dante Martin what his decision was going to be, and before and before Dante Martin could and before Dante Martin could give his answer to joining Team Taz, the acclaimed, which are Max Caster and Anthony Bowens, came out, and Max Caster done a rap on Dante Martin. And Anthony Bowens done his signature line saying, Minneapolis, the acclaimed have arrived. Then Anthony Bowens cut a promo talking about how, uh, how Don, well, Anthony Bowens cut a promo talking about how everybody's been wanting to recruit Dante Martin and, and the, and with the likes of, Matt Seidel, Leo Rush, and Team Taz, which are Taz, Ricky Starks, Powerhouse Hobbs, and Hook, and everything. And Anthony Bowens brought up that, well, Anth well Anthony Bowens made an offer to Dante Martin to join the acclaimed. And, uh, and Anthony Bowens was tell was saying to Don to Dante Martin, I don't have the acclaimed don't have patience like Team Taz and the others do. So you're either going to join us or you're not. So what is it, Dante? Yes or no? And uh, Anthony Bowens was on the apron as he was saying. Well, Anthony Bowens was on the ring apron as he said that. Dante Martin got the microphone and said, What do you think, Minneapolis? Well, Dante Martin punched Anthony Bowens in the face and knocked him off the ring apron. Then Max Caster got up on that got then Max Caster got up on the ring apron and Dante Martin punched Max Caster in the face and Max Caster went not gotten well, and Max Caster got knocked off the off the ring apron. Um, and as the acclaimed, which are Max Caster and Anthony Bowens, got knocked off the apron. Um, Dante Martin attacked the acclaimed and executed the Tope O'Connoro and laid him out. And Dante Martin got back out of the ring, got back in the ring, and celebrated and everything. That was cool. Tony, Sh Tony, Tony Schiavone interviewed Orange Cassidy along with the other members of the Best Friends, which are Chuck Taylor, Wheeler Yuta, and Chris Statlander. And Tony, Sh Tony Schiavone was informing Orange Cassidy that that uh, the Butcher and the Blade 
will be facing him and a partner of his choosing on AEW Dynamite Wednesday. And Orange Ca and Tony Tony Schiavone asked Orange Cassidy who his partner was going to be. Orange Cassidy said, Tony, normally I would pick one of my best friends, Chuck Taylor or Wheeler Yuta, to be my partner, but they already worked their asses off. So I'm I'm letting them have the night off. But whatever that team is in New Japan, and Tony Schiavone said, Chaos. Orange Cassidy said, yeah. One of the members, I, I will be picking one of the big dogs. Then Tony Schiavone revealed that Orange Cassidy's partner will be revealed later on during the main show of Full Gear and everything. That was cool. Um, but besides all that, um, but besides the uh, the matches, the promos and segments, um, AEW aired video packages of the buildup of all the matches on the main show of Full Gear, and that was Kenny Omega versus Hangman Page for the AEW title. The Lucha Brothers, which are the Luke, well, AEW aired video packages of the buildup of the matches that are that are that happened on the main show of Full Gear, and that was Kenny Omega versus Hangman Page for the AEW title. The Lucha Brothers, which are Ray Phoenix and Pena El Cerro Miedo versus FTR for the which are Dax Harwood and Cash Wheeler for the AEW Tag Team titles. Britt Baker versus Ty Conti for the AEW Women's title. Um, um, the Inner Circle, which are Chris Jericho, Jake Hager, Sammy Guevara, Santana, and Ortiz versus... Men of the Year, which are Scorpio Sky and Ethan Page, and American Top Team, which are Junior Dos Santos, Andre Arlovsky, and Dan Lambert, in a Minneapolis street fight, Christian Cage and the Jurassic Express, which are Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus, versus the Super Click, which are Matt Jackson, Nick Jackson, and Adam Cole, in a Falls Count Anywhere match. Um, Brian Danielson versus Miro to determine the number one contender for the AW for the AW title. Um, 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 sorry, sorry. Um, um, and um, MJF versus well, CM Punk. Versus CM Punk versus Eddie Kingston and MJF versus Darby Allen. Those are the only matches. Oh, those are the only video packages of build up ma the match. The build up for the matches on Full Gear. They didn't air. They didn't air a video package of the build up between Cody Rhodes and Pac. Cody Rhodes and Pac versus Andrade El Idolo and Malachi Black. Yeah, Cody Rhodes and Pac versus Andrade El Idolo and Malachi Black. AEW didn't air a video package of the build-up with that match. But the but all the others, they did. That was cool. Now, besides all that, Tony Schiavone and Excalibur done commentary for the pre-show. They done awesome as usual. And the referee... And the referee for the match on the pre-show was Mike Posey. Mike Posey done awesome as usual. So the pre-show was awesome. Now, the main show was... Well, the pre-show was awesome from start to finish. And the main show was awesome from start to finish. So, for the matches... Of the main show, 
well, like I said, the pre-show was awesome from start to finish, and the main show was awesome from awesome from start to finish. So for the main show, for the for the so on the main show of AW Full Gear three for the matches, match one, it was MJF versus Darby Allen. That was a great match, but the ending to it, MJF went over with the headlock takeover. Match two, it, yeah, that was match one, by the way. Match two, it was the Lucha Brothers, which are Ray Phoenix and Pena El Cerro Mieto versus FTR, which are Dax Harwood and Cash Wheeler for the AEW Tag Team titles. That was a great match, but the ending to it, the Lucha Brothers went over and retained the AEW Tag Team titles because... Pena El Cerro Mieto pinned Cash Wheeler with the assisted pile driver from Pena El Cerro Mieto and Ray Phoenix. That was match two, by the way. Match three, it was Brian Danielson versus Miro to determine the number one contender for the AEW title. That was a great match, but the ending to it Brian Danielson went over with, with match three. Match three, it was Brian Danielson versus Miro to determine the number one contender for the AEW title. That was a great match, but the ending to it, Brian Danielson went over with the guillotine choke. Match four, yeah, that was match that that was. That was match three, by the way. Match four, it was Christian Cage and the Jurassic Express, which are Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus, versus the Super Click, which are Matt Jackson, Nick Jackson, and Adam Cole in a Falls Count Anywhere match. That was a great match, but the ending to it, Christian Cage and the Jurassic Express went over because... Jungle Boy pinned Matt Jackson with the concerto. That was match four, by the way. Match five. Yeah. 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 Match five. It was Cody Rhodes and Pack versus Andrade El Idolo and Malachi Black. That was a great match, but the ending to it. Cody Rhodes and Pac went over because Pac pinned Andrade El Idolo with the Brutalizer. Well, after the match, I mean, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Match five, it was Cody Rhodes and Pac versus Andrade El Idolo and Malachi Black. That was a great match, but the ending to it, Cody Rhodes and Pac went over because Pac pinned Andrade El Idolo with the Black Arrow. Well, after the match, Cash Wheeler came out and attacked Pac and beat the shit out of him and laid him out and everything, and Tully Blanchard was beating the shit out of Cody Rhodes, and while well, Cash Wheeler and Tully Blanchard both were beating the shit out of Cody Rhodes, and Malachi Black joined in and everything. So FTR, uh, yes, yeah, so FTR, so Cash Wheeler, Tully Blanchard, and Malachi Black were beating the shit out of both Cody Rhodes and Pac after the match and everything. That was cool. Um, match six, it was. Britt Baker versus Ty Conti for the AEW Women's title. That was a great match, but the ending to it, Britt Baker went over and retained the AEW Women's title with a roll-up. That was match six, by the way. Match, match seven, it was CM Punk versus Eddie Kingston. That was a great match, but the ending to it, CM Punk 
went over with the GTS. Hey, well, oh yeah, that was match seven, by the way. Match eight, it was the inner circle, which are yeah wait yeah. Match eight, it was the inner circle, which are Chris Jericho, Jake Hager, Sammy Guevara. Santana and Ortiz versus Men of the Year, which are Scorpio Sky and Ethan Page, and American Top Team, which are Junior Dos Santos, Andre Arlovsky, and Dan Lambert in a Minneapolis street fight. That was a great match, but the ending to it, the inner, the inner, but the ending to it, the inner circle went over. Cause Chris Jericho pinned Dan Lambert with the frog splash. Um, um, and yeah, that was match eight, by the way. And match nine, yeah, yeah, and wait a minute, yeah, and match nine, which was the main event. It was Hangman Page versus Kenny Omega for the AEW title. That was a great match, but the ending to it, Hangman Page went over and won the AEW title with the Buckshot Lariat. But after the match... Wait a minute. Yeah, but, but, but after the match... The Dark Order, which are Evil Uno, Stu Grayson, John Silver, Alex Reynolds, Five, Ten, Colt Cabana, and Anna J came out and celebrated Hangman Page's AW title victory and everything. Which was cool. Now, I did forget... Um, uh, th now, now, I did forget... Um, a after the match between CM Punk versus Eddie Kingston, CM Punk tried to shake Eddie Kingston's hand, but Eddie Kingston walked out of the ring and everything. That was cool. And, um, and, um, now, besides the matches, Tony Schiavone got on stage with a microphone and announced that AEW had a very special guest. And Tony, Tony Schiavone introduced the special guest, and the special guest was none other than Jay Lethal. So Jay Lethal came out, and Tony Schiavone was asking Jay Lethal, what brings you here to AEW? Jay Lethal said, Tony Schiavone, Jay Lethal, Jay Lethal said, Schiavone, I've been hearing that there's an open door in the business of, of professional wrestling. And I signed with, with, with that open door, and I'm here to say that Jay Lethal is all elite. And Tony Schiavone said, all right, uh, the, well, Tony, Tony... Tony Schiavone said, all right. And Tony Schiavone asked, and, to, and, Tony, and Tony Schiavone asked Jay Lethal, what are your plans now that you're all elite? Jay Lethal said, Schiavone, my plans now that I'm all elite are to win gold. And... And I'm hearing that there's an open challenge for the AEW TNT title. And I accept that open challenge. I, w I would like to do it tonight, but Sammy, G but Sammy Guevara just went through, went through a hellacious match. So, how about it? Sammy Guevara, Jay Lethal. And Sammy Guevara for the AWTNT title on Wednesday night. Well, Sammy, 
Well, Sammy, well, Sammy Guevara, well, Sammy, well, Sammy Guevara came on, came up on stage and Tony Schiavone asked Sammy Guevara, he said, Sammy, do you accept Jay Lethal's open challenge? Do you accept, do you, do you accept Jay Lethal's challenge for the AWTNT title? Sammy Guevara said, Jay Lethal, you're on. So Sammy Guevara, so Sammy Guevara and Jay Lethal stared each other down, and Sammy Guevara held the AWTNT title up in the air, and the referees came out to get in between Sammy Gu to get in between Jay Lethal and Sammy Guevara so they wouldn't brawl or anything. That was cool. Um, but besides all that, Jim Ross, Tony Sch wait, wait. but besides all that, Jim Ross, Tony Schiavone, wait, but besides all that, Jim Ross, Tony Schiavone, and Excalibur done commentary throughout the whole show. They done awesome, wait, but, bes but besides all that, Jim Ross, Tony Schiavone and Excalibur done commentary throughout the main show of Full Gear. They done awesome as usual, and the ref the and and the referees for the event were Mike Posey, Paul Turner, Bryce Rimsberg. Wait, Mike Posey, the the referees for the and the re and the referees for the main show were Mike Posey. Rick Knox, Paul Turner, Bryce Rimsburg, and Aubrey Edwards. Okay. Bryce Rimsburg. Yep. Yeah. Wait. Yep. Yeah. Bryce Rimsburg refereed the match between MJF versus Darby Allen. Rick Knox refereed the match between the Lucha Brothers versus. FTR for the AEW Tag Team Titles. That was Rick Knox, by the way. Uh, Aubrey Edwards refereed the match between... Wait a minute. The referees for the main show of Full Gear 3 were Mike Posey, Rick Knox, Paul Turner, Bryce Rimsburg, and Aubrey Edwards. Okay. Bryce Rimsburg refereed the match between... MJF versus Darby Allen. That was Bryce Rimsburg, by the way. Rick Knox refereed the match between the Lucha Brothers versus FTR for the AEW Tag Team Titles. That was Rick Knox, by the way. Aubrey, Aub, Aubrey Edwards refereed the match between Brian Danielson versus Miro. To determine the number one contender for the AEW title, Mike Posey, Rick Knox, Paul Turner, and Bryce Rimsburg refereed the match between Christian Cage and the Jurassic Express, which are Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus, versus the Super Click, which are Matt Jackson, Nick Jackson, and Adam Cole in a False Count Anywhere match. Bryce, Bryce Rimsburg. Bryce Rimsburg refereed the match between Cody Rhodes and Pac versus. Wait, wait a minute. Bryce Rimsburg refereed the match between Cody Rhodes and Pac versus Andrade El Idolo and Malachi Black. Paul Turner refereed the match. Paul Paul Turner refereed the match between. Paul Turner refereed yeah yeah Paul Turner refereed the match between Britt Baker versus Ty Conti for the AEW Women's title That's Paul Turner by the way Bryce Rimsburg refereed the match between CM Punk versus Eddie Kingston Aubrey Edwards refereed the match between the Inner Circle versus Men of the Year and American Top Team 
in a Minneapolis street fight. That was Aubrey Edwards, by the way. And Paul Turner, well, the match between Kenny Omega, well, yeah, the match between Hangman Page versus Kenny Omega for the AEW title. First, it was Paul Turner that refereed the match, but Paul Turner got knocked out, and Aubrey Edwards refereed the rest of the match. But all the referees done awesome as usual. Now, the match card for All Elite Wrestling's AEW Dynamite, so far that's been announced for this Wednesday night, it's going to be Sammy Guevara versus Jay Lethal for the AEW. Now the match card for All Elite Wrestling's yeah, now the match card for All Elite Wrestling's AEW Dynamite that's been announced now the mat now <clears throat> now the match card for All Elite Rest fuck sorry now now the match card for All now the match card for All Elite Wrestling's AEW Dynamite that's been announced so far this Wednesday night it's going to be Sammy Guevara versus Jay Lethal for the AEW TNT title. Orange Cassidy and Tomohiro Ishii versus The Butcher and the Blade. Leo Rush and Dante Martin versus The Acclaimed, which are Max Caster and Anthony Bowens. And... Hikaru Shida versus Nyla Rose. Those are the matches that have been announced. But the match card for All Elite Wrestling's AEW Dynamite this Wednesday night looks like it's going to be awesome. Looking forward to it, and I can't wait to see it. But anyway, I just wanted to come on here for a while and give them a review for All Elite Wrestling's pay-per-view event, Full Gear 3. Like I said... The pre-show and the main show both were awesome from start to finish. And with that being said, my name is Austin Honaker, and I will catch your ass down the road. Peace out.